Hey everybody, this is Way to Fail, back with more Faster Than Light Challenge Run Time, where we are currently nearing the end of this fabulous, fabulous run with the microwave, where we are trying to not pew pew, but vzz, vzz our opposition by using only ion weapons and beam weapons. And right now my loadout is pretty sweet. About the only way I can improve is if I got an Ion Blast Mark II. But even then, that's not really going to be too great because I wouldn't... Well, I would have enough power to run it, actually. Because I'd only need two more. But still, I have bigger goals in mind. I want to get Cloaking. I want to get level 4 shields. I'm not using a Teleporter because this run's rules state very specifically that you may only use ions and ion weapons and you may only use beam weapons and by using the language only that means uh, uh you can't wiggle room wiggle room i feel a little bad going for the ion bomb because i'm not sure if that was allowed under it but you know what we're here now we're playing let's see if we can make it to the flagship and if we make it to the flagship let's see if we can win so let's start by this and see if this is going to be another one jump death like I've had in a previous video. So let's see here, we have lots of cloaking, some shields. This could be a problem. Because this drone is not looking very friendly, and that's a, that's a firebomb. That's a firebomb in my door control. I'm not a fan of that. Oh, I'm not a fan of my missile missing either. And my weapon room is on fire as well, so guess who is running from this fight like a uh, person? That would be me. That would me be me putting the retreat order out again. This feels this feels like a very familiar predicament I've been in this run where I just have to run constantly because my weapons room keeps getting annihilated. So there's a second firebomb there. And I guess we're gonna be going back to the uh Well I could go to the store. Let's go to the store because I know the store's safe. Especially with my shield room on fire. So it's here. Cloaking. I don't have anything I'm going to be selling. Cloaking's all I want. Good. So now I can just focus on raising up my other stuff here and hopefully getting some good repairs in momentarily. I know I am being a bit of a keyboard clicker just by going after and clicking things instead of using all the fancy hotkeys, but that's why I'm the least best at this game. Is once again, I somehow cannot drag and click and move my whole crew around. So what does my ship need right now? It's going to need some extra energy. So I can't even really take advantage of the cloaking at this point by itself. Let's make sure that our weapons guru is actually the one that's in charge of firing weapons. He's not. Now he is. You know who it is, by the way, who's sitting at the terminal. So I have zero scrap. I really, really, really need to uh, just win something here. And I'm a little wary of what this jump is going to do to me. Because let's see. Alright, so we have Friendly Neighborhood Mantis. They're going to be trying to board me momentarily. They have level 3 shields. So I got to be true with my ion bombs or I'm going to be in trouble. If I can just get those shields down, that's a start. Fortunately, that's a firebomb. I guess you could say fortunately. Unfortunately, I can't hit the broadside of anything. Okay, so there's my borders into my shield room. Why not? Well, who would want to go into a shield room anyway? So There we go. It's pike beam time. Let's actually do this in a way that actually hits all the rooms this time. Because I need to actually do damage to all the rooms. Except for maybe the engines. Okay, didn't really need the uh, second bomb there, but we'll, we'll take it. So right now my shields are not in danger and they're running out of air really quickly. So I should be able to destroy the ship before the borders do too much. Yeah, there we go. I can just sloppy this just a little bit. So they transported back on just in time to die. I'll take that. 42 scrap, that's just what I need. Because right now, more than anything else, I need system energy right now. 
And there's still just a store there. I can go for the possible undetected ship. Um, I don't really want to go through a uh, ion storm though, so we're just going to go back down here. I don't really need extra fuel. I don't really need extra missiles. I don't really need extra repairs. Because, <sighs> yeah, there, I would be hard pressed to go through all of those missiles. I'm at the back of my mind saying be cautious, although I probably shouldn't have bought three because I really needed to upgrade one of my system power just a little bit, so my heavy fingered shopping is not serving me too well right now. So let's see here. I'm gonna scan for some debris. I got 64 scrap. I'm not risking my crew, which is a very fun, interesting, weak crew, you could say. So let's see here. I'm good here. I got one power. And now I'm just saving for shields. Because I would like to get a lot more here, and there's fortunately a lot of fights to be had. That's good, as long as they're not fights that are gonna kill me too hard. Fortunately, between my ion weapons and ion bombs, I should be able to outcloak some of this. Or at least survive a little bit. This ship isn't particularly threatening, it's just gonna take its dear sweet time getting the ion bomb to go. So that's five laser shots, so I can cloak through that next time. As long as they don't kill me here. Come on. Okay. Look here. And now we, I'm actually just sitting here going derp when I could really be just screwing up their ships so badly. They okay, definitely don't need the ion beam anymore. Lost my scanners. But they've lost their everything at this point, so. Like, they can't dodge. Five fuel, 34 scrap. That's not a great surrender at this stage of the game. I don't think my ship's gonna die here, so there we go. I said, I don't think the ship's gonna die. There we go. Very lucky on the miss there. Two missiles, 52 scraps, so that's what we want at this point. Unfortunately, I never suffocated these guys, so I'm gonna have to play this nicely, I guess. Or I tried to, and I didn't do a very good job of it. Okay. Okay, so they're not taking out my cockpit. Thank you for actually going for my med bay. La la la, let's, let's do adventures and crew management. As y'all are going to run the stupid way around. Better than the smart way, I guess. And while you all are having fun in the Lotus Fields, I can just send my little Zoltan over to repair. So we do actually need some air on the ship after all. And oxygen, any time now, any time now, there we go. Just want to make sure that I don't accidentally kill people. I'd rather kill them with purpose. Oh shit. And that's what I'm talking about, accidentally killing people. And healing one more time, there we go. That's why we need scanners, so idiot proof this game against people like me. Alright, so 115 scrap. Still plenty of fights to be had. We are going to go for the gold of raising shields quite a bit, because level 4 shields are very, very strong. I don't need much more cloaking than what I have. I don't really need anything from you, so I'm going to fight you, because I need the scrap. Alright. Just got to hope I don't get hit too hard. Fortunately, someone's not going to be boarding me here, but I guess the first question of the day is do I cloak out of the uh, missile or the... Burst laser three. If I can keep dodging like this, it's not going to be much of a question. There we go. As once again, we get the nice X pattern. Once again, I'm not going to accept their surrender. That has to be one of the more terrifying things you can see of just all of the beams firing up, getting ready. I'm taking a little bit of weapon damage here. I could have cloaked through that. I am going to cloak through this. So hey, at least I can fire, fire, fire with impunity this time. So here we go. 76 scrap. 
left here. I just need one more for a hundred, so we'll say Yahtzee next turn if I can actually kill this other ship. Um, their loadout doesn't look very scary. I'm not going to accept that bribe because it's pretty small. Yeah, just a few lasers. Only level 3 shields. So I'll take it. And I'll take the added risk of uh, dropping out all of my stuff. So there we go. Now I can actually hit all of these rooms by going like that. And now they're trying to fly away. Well, good luck there with no piloting. And with no burst laser, I'm not too concerned about what they can do to me anymore. I don't need the ion bomb there anymore. Now, apparently I was mistaken and the rock plating does actually stop beam weapon damage. That's good to know for the future. So as long as I can keep their shields downgraded. Oh, our previous offer was not generous enough. Let's improve it. Four fuel, eight missiles, and scrap? No. That's not... I'm looking for scrap, so there we go. And I didn't know I could just let up my beam weapon, so seven one scrap. Substantial scrap material. Thank you for the aid. The arms seal usually works with rebels. I'll make an exception. So here we go. Crew teleporter, drone control, not stuff I need. In fact, this is all just kind of gravy at this point. I don't even really need the crew here. I guess what I do need to do, because I'm going to have to deal with boarding drones before long. Let's go ahead and max our shields. I do want level 3 doors coming up. So that's going to be my next goal. But I do need to get some more power here. So for now, I am going to be flying with level 4 shields, knowing that I can micromanage it. And I should be able to stay in front of the rebel, the, 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 the rebel wave. Alright, so let's defend the outpost. That is two beam drones again. I do not like you, sir. But I may be okay. If my weapons can hit. So my Zoltan shields are dying in a hurry, but unless that's an ion bomb, there's not a lot they can do to uh, really hurt me too badly. Ah, oh, of course that ion bomb's not going to hit right there, so... Okay, now we're just sitting ducks at this point. That is an ion bomb. Oh shit, we gotta get out of here. We gotta get out of here so fast. Okay, we are in full run-the-fuck-away mode right now. Because that's four shields and an ion bomb. That's why I like ion bombs, man. And that's my weapons down. We're just going to stand down and say, get the hell out of here. I don't even care what I'm fighting next. Okay, so razor shields... Like I said, I don't really care what I'm fighting next because, damn it, nothing can be as bad as what I just faced. It's not going to be nearly that bad. So do we have Vincent in charge right now? No. Let's get Lagardi out of there. Yeah, I have no door control, so these guys are going to be able to board me in a moment's notice. So how badly am I in trouble right now? Pretty badly. Do I cloak here? I think I cloak. There we go. So just barely avoided that one. So let's ion blast, ion bomb. Let's hope these ion bombs actually hit this time. Because it's good sailing when they hit. Just when they don't, so I'm gonna get wrecked here in a moment. Because they are gonna board me, and I am gonna have to deal with shit in my shield room. And because I can't stop my doors, this is not good. Okay. So, what am I gonna do? Hmm. I guess we're gonna have you try and hold the line as best you can for the time being. Let's take... 
Okay, we need to shoot both of these pike beams and we need to shoot them now. Alright, let's see if I can take out some weapons. There we go. Weapons out, transporter out. And let's make our stand. As long as I don't lose crew, I'm okay. I guess I don't really need air right now either, so... Because I just don't want their weapons to come back on me. Don't want their weapons to come back online, do not want their shields to come back online. And I don't really want to lose my crew either, so. But I think I'm gonna live. Just barely. Get that line just a little better. Sorry, I have to go a little bit seriouser mode than I was hoping for here. Um I'm not going to accept that surrender. I'm not really terribly threatened by you all anymore when you all are about to die. Here, so. There we go. 53 scrap. That's more like it. So yeah, we don't have to turn, tuck, and run. Just clear this out. My weak, 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 weak party. There we go. Get you all all repaired up. You all, all go in here real nice and swell. And get you all fixing the doors momentarily. It should be good enough to do it. This is why I want level 3 doors in part. So let's see here. Vincent once again on weapons. Good enough for me. So let's see. What do we got on our ship? First off, I don't think we have a uh, bordering place. So it's here. I'm pretty good on there. can actually do that. And then focus the rest on actually improving my crew energy. Especially when, oh god, we need to actually be able to breathe. That would have sucked. So Jack's back on shields. Jack's who's uh, actually not supposed to be on shields. Fail, fail, fail. Alright, Jones who's actually improving on shields already. Right. Okay, so we are... We're alive! Just more than we could say a few jumps ago. Now here's the exit and here's another place. There's a store. I don't really want to mess with it. We're through the civilian sector. We've gotten some scrap. We're in about as decent of a position as you can show as you can show for. Hope for... They're trying to escape. They have two drones. This is not going to be pretty. And I'm going to have to save my cloak for the big-ass missile that's coming. Fortunately, they have level 3 shields, so if I can just get them down, they're going to be vulnerable. Come on, hit, please. Damn it. Oh! And while raging and saying, damn it, I totally missed my need to repair spot. Oh, it sucks. Alright, well, fortunately, I'm not penalized too hard for it. Come on, hit. Are you fucking kidding me? Alright, well, at least I got the cloak off that time. Ion Bomb, I really need you to do your shit this time. Okay, so these guys are just gonna jump, and there's nothing I can do about it. Unless I can depower their stuff right now. Nope. Misfired there. So there we go. No scrap, no bonus. Getting overtaken. Let's go to the last stand. And sometimes I'd want to explore the lotus fields and kind of just go through and see what I can get. But instead, I think here, what I really want to do is just focus on getting some supplies. Getting into some fights and then fighting the uh, flagship directly. So let's hope that we can make it to the flagship because I'd like to get some more energy to power my shields. This is not a good start. I do not like those level 2 drones. They are scary as advertised. That is a one-shot missile though, so... Right now I'm okay. Should be able to cloak and recover from this momentarily. Unfortunately, one of my weapons did take damage, so... And my med bay is on fire, oh, of course. 
So right now I'm okay. If I can just get this ion bomb to do its thing. Come on. There we go. Close all those doors. A little nerve wracking, if you can't tell. Okay, so right now, right now I'm safe. There we go. That was the shot I was really worried about. Let's cloak out of this. There we go. We managed to live through that. Okay, so who's hurting right now? Once again, both my weapon people. Apparently, the design of the microwave is not a big secret. Just look for where the big radiation signatures are coming from. That's where you should fire. Because right now, my weapon systems are getting fried all the time. Alright, but we're good. 57 scrap means I get to put a little more energy in, and every little bit of energy counts. So there's a, there's the secret store. I don't think the store is going to have anything that I can use at this point, so I'm going to skip it. Now, the only difference would be an ion bomb, which I don't even have the scrap for at this point. But you know what? We're here. It's a store. If I can sell the ion blast for an ion bomb, I'll take it. But we don't, so we can't. Automated reloader's pretty decent. I don't really need long-range scanners at this point. So let's get let's get an automated reloader. Why not? Because the long-range scanners they don't do anything for me anymore. Extra weapon power, on the other hand, because these do stack. These do stack. So that's thirty percent faster weapons. And unfortunately. I've got to hightail real fast to get to the flagship. Because he just got there and he's flying over there in a few turns. So I got six turns to do this. Okay, so this is a very scary ship, and that does look very scary. We are just going to depower our weapons and run for it. So maybe I could survive one cloak here. I do have my Zoltan Shields. It's going to be my saving grace. These weapons should fire at around the same time, and I should be able to get out of here without much problem. There we go. Alright. Not firing anything, just trying to get straight to the flagship. Sometimes it is the smarter play to not attack at all. So unfortunately that does mean my next fight, my next engagement, is going to start. What in the hell is this flagship doing? And have I already been here, I guess, is the second question. Maybe the flagship has. Well, we're going to go... We're going to go the grayed out area anyway. Because I'm not staying here. Okay, so once again we're not going to be fighting. And these guys don't have a transporter. They just have a lot of lasers, and unfortunately right now, if I do not engage them here, I won't be able to run, so... It's a pretty bad trade. Okay, so let's go ahead and see how much longer can Jax make it. Oh no, am I going to do it? Barely, barely, barely. Alright, so... We can afford to cloak here now. That'll do. In fact, I may just be able to level up my shields by quite a bit here. Because I don't know if these guys are going to be all firing at the same time or not. Let's start here. Let's go ahead and repair. This is about as safe as I can get. And I could probably kill the ship, but it's not going to give me any bonus scrap. Alright, so the question is, Jones, do we want to sit here and let him level up? I want him, I guess I can let him sit here and get to uh, 
first level of shield. I could sit here and min-max and go all the way, but I've beaten this game enough to know that. That's only going to get you so far because now, see look at that, I got cute, I sat here and now my ship took damage and my scanners are ouchy. I don't really need scanners next fight, but... Let's go and cloak. Might as well cloak. Might as well get that repair in. Okay, and let's not get cute anymore. Let's jump to the flagship. Good, so I will be able to engage the flagship. I didn't just run around the whole sector like a chicken with that. Unfortunately, there's a ship here. I was not expecting a ship here. They didn't tell me there'd be a ship here at ship school. Well, I guess we're fighting you. Because it's like I've been running from ships this whole game, it feels like. There's a defense 2 drone. Uh, do you have... Okay, that's my, that's my bomb that's missing. It's always my bomb that's missing. But because that is a uh, defense 2 drone, it is going to be able to actually fire on me just a little bit. But it can't hit the bombs. So that's a plus. It is actually going to shoot my little ion down every time, so there's no point in me even firing that now. Just got to get the second bomb to hit. There we go! It's party time. I just opened up your ship. There we go. And just like that, you are hurting. Still have the uh, drone up, though. So now, now they're getting serious time, I guess. Which is just in time. And here we go, 33 scrap. I actually got a little bit of something for that as the flagship is coming directly to me. One repair here and then I'm probably going to have to try phase one and then finish recording this up in just a little bit just because of where the time frame is right now. But that's okay, still fun going. Let's see if we can survive phase one of the flagship. Here it comes, just waiting. It is a uh, big, nasty ball of ball. No turning back. Of course there's no turning back. It's FTL. And I've really got to hope that I have enough bombs to do this whole thing. I might not. Especially with no transport, no repair. I've really got to make these shots count. And this first phase is going to be pretty dicey. Because I'm going to have to deal with those missiles. Come on, you gotta hit for me. There we go. RNG's working in my favor right now. But that cloak's gonna come at a pretty bad time. I just gotta hope that I can keep my stuff up here. Oh boy. That's not good. Because that's my cloaking that's damaged. That's fun. Come on, hit. There we go. Alright, so pike beams away. Mail must be more advantageous for me to actually attack parts of the ship that I can take down a little more, but no, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to go with this angle. Because I need to get my cloaking back up ASAP. Now let's see here. Do I eye? Yeah, I don't want to eye on these shields. There we go. Pike beam activate. Go, go, go. Gotta take out those missiles. There we go. The day is saved. And I got that ion shot in just in time, too. So that's pretty nice. Cloaking there more because I can. Because someone in there is actually repairing the missiles, because I don't have a boarding team, so. But this should do it for the first phase. At least I have 13 missiles, or I have 13 bombs left, which is less than I'd like, but I'll take it. So I'm going to stop here for now and pick up recording momentarily. So this is way to fail. Let's keep flying. And it is going to be time to try and take down... Ye old phase two of the flagship, the worst, most terrible phase possible. 
What makes it a little worse is that I don't have any transporting. I can only use ion weapons. So let's see how this goes. Phase 2, I don't even remember really where the repair stations are if I need it, but right now what we're going to do is just try and beat down the uh, shielding because that's what we need first. Saving the cloaking for the drone swarms, which means I'm probably going to have to eat the boarding drone, that's right. Don't really want that there. Unfortunately, missing this is not a good start. So here's our first power surge. Fortunately, timed pretty well. Oh, but unfortunately... Oh, damn. Okay. So didn't time that cloak very awesome, but I think I'll be okay. Unfortunately, that boarding drone is going to become a big issue in just a moment. So what we're going to have to do here is actually go for the pike beam all the way through these rooms to the shield room. Just see if we can deactivate this in time because he's about to jailbreak into this system, so that's not good. Okay, did not deactivate him there. But we'll see if we can do that here. Sending my shield guy over as well. Now unfortunately this means the missiles are coming. But I only got one hit in the engine, so I can accept that. Now I think the drone finally deactivated, so that's good. Now I just gotta focus here. If we want to do as much damage as possible, I may be able to take out the ship this round if I do enough damage. There we go! Oh, two pike beams! That phase went way better than I expected. So just got a few dinky repairs. Gotta do just a little bit of maintenance here. There are drones flying everywhere. Just two pike beams. Totally ridiculous. So now I just gotta hope I don't get boarded again in the third round, and I do have 12 bombs. So I am gonna go a little bit more aggressively with uh, trying to take out. Okay, Vincent, what are you? Why are you still hurting, Vincent? I don't want you to be in pain. Okay, because Vincent is our weapons guy. So sorry about the quick micromanagement here. Just trying to remember who goes where. Jacks the cockpit. Clutch cloak there was able to time it perfectly with the uh, other shots, but this time I'm going to have to try and take out the uh, missiles ASAP. So here we go with all these systems, and for some reason we don't have one extra weapon power there because... there we go. There we go, full system ahead. I'm going to give myself to of all the things that I have here, probably an extra system power is best. Just to give me a little more flexibility in case things go to shit. Alright, so phase three of the flagship. Shouldn't be so bad, but I've got to prioritize taking out the missiles really, really hard here. And because of my shield and uh, the level of my shield person, I may just try and cloak through the missiles first and see if I can eat the uh, opening volley here. Okay, there we go. Was that a mistake? I don't know. It depends on how off we are on timing for the uh, power surge. Okay, so that's eight shots fired at once. So some shield damage and some hull damage. And right in the cockpit, that's that's pretty terrible. Pretty terrible luck. That I think will be okay. So we just, oh, ion bomb, I can't have you missing right now. So if we voluntarily close that door and run you back in. Okay, missiles, unfortunately missiles in the shield room, that is not good. Okay, just gotta get one more shot in here. This time we are going to cloak out of this. Good timing on the cloak, I just need that last iron bomb to hit. There we go. So 100% dodge at least and dodged every bit of damage there. Please hit. Thank you. Okay. So here goes the pike beam. See if I can take out the missiles first. Alright, so now that I've got my cloaking timed a little better here. And their crew's dying pretty quickly. 
here. I don't know if their missiles are going to fire or not. Probably are. Unless I can take them out right here. This is where two pike beams are really nice. And now I don't even have to worry about the missiles. I can just end the game with my next pike beam volley here. Unless we're about to get Zoltan shield. Are we? Oh, got it in time before the power surge. So there we go, end game. Hey, ion and beams, you can do it with no transporter. The microwave is victorious. And a surprisingly not too problematic flagship kill. I don't even know how many missiles I ended up using there. I'll have to look at the replay. But thank you, Pollens2012, for the challenge suggestion. It ended up being uh, the game turned pretty well once I got the ion bomb. If I didn't have that, it would have been a far tougher contest. But still, where are we at on the microwave? It's my fourth best run. I didn't get as much scrap as maybe I could have other times. Um, because I didn't get 3,000, I only got 1,400. And I didn't actually need to upgrade too terribly much. But still, I got what I needed. Didn't defeat that many ships, but overall, a good run. So yay, challenge runs. We're going to try something different next time. Probably something a little more wacky. But this is Way to Fail. That's it for now. Hope you enjoyed it. I will see you all next time.